Welcome to Electra Online. It had been studied and, and observed that the sound frequency changes depending upon the velocity of the source relative to the observer. We had noticed that if the source moves towards the observer, we hear a higher frequency, and when the source moves away from the observer, we hear a lower frequency. Kind of like when you're standing next to a highway and you listen to a car driving by, it kind of sounds like this. When it approaches you, it goes mm, and then when it moves away from you, you can hear the change of the frequency and the lowering of the frequency as the object moves away from us. So the question was, does the same thing happen with light? Well, if we take a look at the situation here, here we have a stationary observer, we have a sound source that is moving towards the observer. And because of that, the waves are bunched closer together, causing the frequency to increase, and the frequency observed is equals, equal to the frequency of the source times the equation of the velocity of the sound in air divided by the velocity of the sound minus the velocity of the source. And as the velocity of the source becomes larger and larger and larger, the denominator becomes smaller and smaller and smaller, and the frequency observed continues to increase. So, the question is, does the same thing happen to light as it comes from an object that approaches us? And let's say that we have an observer on the Earth looking through the telescope, looking at a galaxy that happens to be approaching towards the Earth with a velocity v. The question is, does the frequency of the light changes? And the answer is, yes it does, in the exact same way. Just like we had the velocity of the wave in the medium here being v of sound, the velocity of sound, here we have c being the velocity of the light in the medium space. And so we can say then that the frequency observed by the observer here is equal to the frequency of the source times the very same ratio, the speed of light in the medium space, divided by the difference between the speed of light in space minus the velocity of the source. And maybe I should write v sub s for velocity of the source, and that is the equation that gives us the exact same relationship between the frequency observed and the frequency of the source, all depending upon the velocity of the source and the velocity of the waves in the medium. In this case, for light, it is the speed of light. And since even in relativity, the speed of light always remains the same for every observer, you will see in the future how this changes as we start talking about the velocity of objects at relativistic speeds. How does that change the frequency observed? And we'll see that in a future video. But it was a tremendous discovery to realize that there's a very close similarity between how the frequency of the sound changes and how frequency of light changes.